hello guys welcome once again in the last two videos i have been showing you how to save your data and how to edit your data in your mysql database using your visual basic windows form application in this video i will show you how to delete your data using your visual basic windows form application so first of all i'm going to take a button as i have done in the last two videos to save and update and i will change the text of this button as delete and I will also change the font size so it may look good bold and 16 and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the code from the last video and because all the code is going to be the same just the query will be different so I will copy all the code in the sub of this update button and I will go to this delete button and double click it and just paste my code here so if you're watching these videos you know what these lines are doing because I have been explaining you several numbers of time what these lines are doing so first line is for the connection with the server and we write the server na name and root and password and all and in the try catch block we are going to catch any exception if any exception occurs and once the query is performed we are going to dispose our query finally right so just copy the skeleton and now the important part is the query to delete the data in the database so I'm going to just delete this line of the query and I'm going to write the query to delete the data from the database so just write here delete from your database name which is database dot e data which is my table name and then write where and then once again single quote in between double quote in between this and sign and in between I'm going to write the name of my text box for EID or first of all I need to write EID is equal to single quote double quote and this end sign and I will write the name of my text box for EID so I will write text box EID dot text okay this is the query to delete the data so I will explain you what this query is doing this query is deleting the data on the basis of my employee ID so whatever I enter employee ID in this text box it will delete the data related to that employee ID and it's the concept behind deleting the data so you need to give the reference where you want to perform the action you can do it on the basis of the name you can do it on the basis of the surname the only thing is it should match the content in the database so that on the basis of that it can delete the database so for this example I'm going to take employee ID from the database which is this one and on the basis of this I will delete the data so just I delete from the data from your database dot the table name you have in the database where EID which is the column name one of the column name is equal to single quote double quote end and the text box name dot text so whatever text you enter in here it will delete the data corresponding to that okay and I will change 
a message here deleted data deleted okay it should be a capital D okay so that's all you need to write in order to delete the data from the database if you want you can just copy this code and I'm going to run the program and check whether it works or not I'm going to open my database also so that I can show you that the data is really deleted or not so my program is running okay and so for example I want to delete the employee ID 17 which is this one so let's log into the system first of all and for example I want to delete employee ID 17 so I will write here 17 and I will click this delete button and it gives me data deleted and when I refresh my database my employee ID 17 is deleted you can see here once again for example I want to delete employee ID 16 so I will write 16 here and I will just click delete and my data is deleted and when I press refresh and employee ID 16 is not here anymore so in this way you can delete your data in the database using a visual basic windows form application I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.